This integral may be evaluated using u substitution. We could let u be the denominator, and then that would work out just terrific. We're going to be focusing on another method, completing the square. Now this is very powerful. It doesn't just work for rational functions, but you could have some square roots of a quadratic, and this would be a great way to go. So completing the square entails taking this quadratic x squared plus 4 plus 4x plus 8. Look at the cons the coefficient of the x term, so 4. We're going to divide it by 2 and then square. So 4 over 2 is 2 and then 2 squared is 4. And the number we obtain we're going to add and subtract. So this is x squared plus 4x. We're going to add 4 and subtract 4 and then we have our plus 8. Now the first three terms are the perfect square. This is x plus 2 squared and then we have minus 4 plus 8 which simplifies to plus 4. So after completing the square we have the square of x plus 2 plus 4. So we'll go ahead and rewrite this integral from 0 to 2 of x plus 2 divided by the quantity x plus 2 squared plus 4 dx. And this suggests a substitution. We'll let u equal x plus 2. And so we get a new integral. And now this is still a definite integral, so we have to change the limits of integration. When x equals 0, then what is u? So you add 2 to x, so this is going to become 2. And then when x is 2, u is equal to 2 plus 2. So top limit, top limit of integration is 4. And then our integrand is u over u squared plus 4. And in this case, dx equals du. So this is our new integral, and we would solve this one with a substitution as well, letting w be the denominator. So we have w equals u squared plus 4, then dw is 2u du. And we have the u du, we just need a 2, so I would multiply by 2 and divide by 2. And now we can do the substitution, and with respect to this final variable, we have dw, that's 2u du, divided by w, and we have the 1 half outside, and we have a new limits of integration. It's no longer 2 to 4, but now these are values of w, so when 2 equals u, this is 2 squared plus 4. So 4 plus 4, that's 8. And now when u equals 4, then w is 4 squared plus 4. So that's 16 plus 4, that's 20. And finally, we take the antiderivative, which is the natural log function. And we'll have 1 half times the natural log of the absolute value of w evaluated from w equals 8 to 20. So we have 1 half the natural log of 20 minus the natural log of 8. And I shouldn't have braces here, so that 1 half is being multiplied by everything. Using properties of natural logs, we can simplify this as 1 half times the natural log of 20 divided by 8. So that's 5 over 2, or 5 halves. And you can bring the 1 half inside if you like, so natural log of 5 halves.